I can hear you. Okay. Table, table needs to slide towards me. Which way? Towards me. Towards you? Okay. Is that better? He say something? I didn't even hear him. Yep. All right, how we look on the square up shot? We look square? He's mumbling, you hear him? Yeah. You're mumbling. We're going to be talking about boating safety today. The 100 deadliest days of our highways and waterways. Check, check. You're watching Carolina and Company live, local, informative, and entertaining. With your hosts, Amanda Kinsett and Cecil Chandler. This is Carolina and Company Live. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Carolina and Company Live. It is Monday. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. Did you have a good weekend? Mine was a great weekend. I had a fun time all weekend long. Spent a lot of time with my wife, and she likes me this weekend. Oh, well, that's yeah. a bonus. There you, you go. You have to spend time with your wife. <laughs> that that's is true. important. I promise yes. you. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, I tell you what, it was beautiful weather over the it weekend. Was great. I don't know about today, though. Yeah, Mother Nature was nice enough to hold off the rain until early this morning. Over the weekend, absolutely gorgeous, but the rain is starting to come to, the, to an end uh, north of Florence right now and up along the border belt, but down toward the Grand Strand, still some light showers still expected as we go through the next uh, hour or two as this little disturbance continues to push its way south and east and away from the area. More showers and thunderstorms off to the west are weakening as well. We'll be watching another disturbance off to the north, though. That'll come in late today, possibly even into tonight. That could bring in another round of a few showers and thunderstorms across the area along with the cold front sinking on through the area. We will see a little bit of a drier day on tap for your Tuesday. Not completely dry though as that front stays just down to our south and a series of disturbances continue to roll in across the area to keep the chance for a few showers and thunderstorms in the forecast through Thursday. Not a great chance, but a slight chance will be there almost each and every day.
We are looking at mid to low 70s right now for the area 73 right now in Myrtle Beach, 72 in Florence, where it's starting to dry out, starting to warm up up along the border belt already into the mid 70s. And with a little more sunshine coming in as we go through the afternoon, still the chance for a few showers and thunderstorms. The temps will climb to the mid 80s. Your Grand Strand seven day forecast, though, with that front just down to our south, we'll see the temps down a few degrees, struggling to get to that 80 degree mark for Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. We'll call for a mixture of sun and clouds and a slight chance for a few showers and thunderstorms in the forecast through Thursday. High pressure builds in for your weekend, bringing the temps back to the low to mid 80s and plenty of sunshine and dry weather along with it. So you got to love when we get our rain chances during the week and nice weather perfectly timed out for the weekend. Weather is brought to you by A&I Fire and Water Restoration. I'm all about some nice weather. Hopefully we have nice weather on you Friday. See, I love the way you did that. Rain during the week. Weekend's nice. I know. I, I'll take that any day, I right? I will take it any day, too. <laughs> Don't forget, we'll be at Wild Water and Wheels this Friday night for the DJ dance party with Wally B. We'll all be out there dancing. Yeah, we'll be it's out dancing, a having a good time. So all the kids, parents, get your kids, load them up, bring them out to the water park, Wild Water and Wheels, right there in Surfside. That's right. I think I'm going to bring Charlie and see how he likes the swimming pool. Charlie dance. Oh, he he of course he dances. Are you kidding? His parents dance. I'm he dances all kidding, the time. Just kidding. All right. We announced the final winner for our Where's the Scream contest. There's the picture we showed you. It's right there at the Art Museum. That's right. Their mini golf course is open and ready for you to play. Congratulations to Christy Ridgely, who was the winner. Now, if you entered in this contest, we are pulling three grand prize winners wow. on Wednesday. Yeah. Yes. So good luck. Yeah, get you out can there be a winner. Some so you better look, have we, do we have another one? Or was that the last one? That's it. That's it. Last one. Yeah. I got one out of how many? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's I all it. I could get out. It was of. tough, but it was fun. Um, hey, over the weekend, you yeah. know, it was beautiful weather. I got to go down to Merle's Inlet, which was great. They had the Freedom Boat Club grand opening down there at mm -hmm. Crazy Sister Marina. There's right. a couple of the boats that they have. It's so beautiful. I love to be down there. On the um, inlet, with I can't the believe they let you. To take I a can't boat believe out. they let you drive a boat. Oh come on! I'm good Kim's at that. here today. We're going to talk a little bit about boating safety. Yeah, I want safe you to listen very boating. closely That's to what right. she says. Okay. All right. Let's talk right. about today. Today, all right. Today is Monday, June fourth, and this is National Cancer Survivor Day, and this is also Cheese Day. Cheese. So, cut the cheese. Cut <laughs> the cheese. I knew that was. Coming. I knew that was coming too. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. All right. Here we go. Birthday today, 1944. Michelle Phillips. You remember her? She's 68 years old. She's a member of the singing group Mamas and the Papas. Great, great group. 1975. Russell Brand, the wild man. He's 37, the British actor. He's offbeat style of acting. He's a crazy kind of guy. 1975. Angelina Jolene. 37 years old, looking good. Actress married to, what's that guy, Brad Pitts. Yeah, All right. Yeah. Now, this day in history, it was 1965. The Rolling Stones released Can't Get No Satisfaction. Went all the way to number one on Billboard's charts. 1984, one of my favorite songs, Bruce Springsteen releases Born in the USA. And in 1990, Greyhound Bus files bankruptcy. Didn't have enough money to feed the dog. All right, now from the know-it-all department, are you ready? Ready. All right, there it is. You know what that is? A Ruby Ruby Steve. Cube, okay. Yeah. How long will it take you to do it? A very long yeah, time. Yeah, two days probably yeah. for me. The record for this now, listen to this. This is hard for me to believe. I double-checked this to make sure it was right. 5.66 seconds. Five seconds. It, yeah, five seconds. An, Austra an Australian man holds it. Wow. Record for this. Five, five, five seconds. seconds? I couldn't even pick it up in five <laughs> seconds. I can't believe that. that's from the Know It All department Some today. Talented people out there, I tell you what. They are very uh, talented. It shows a lot of people don't have anything to do, <laughs> and they're going to work with that cube all day long. Yeah, but look, it made them famous, right? That's right. All right we have a great show for Got you today. Stick with us. Let's check on the news right now. I'm Tracy Verlin, executive producer at News Channel 15. Here's what we're working on today: a shark bit a man near the Second Avenue Pier in Myrtle Beach. Why Beach Patrol says he was a target. Police arrested a PD woman for cheering at her daughter's graduation. Why police say they were just enforcing the rules. And we'll tell you why there are a lot more bugs this year and why you should be especially on the lookout for ticks. That and more tonight on your news at 6 and 7. CarolinaLive.com has partnered with area businesses to bring you Carolina Live deals. You'll save from 50 to 70% off on area best services, restaurants, and attractions. Today's deal is from Wild Water and Wheels. Get an all-day water park pass for only $20. You save $11 off the regular water park admission. It's all-day water park fun for only $20. All week, full park pass upgrades are available at the park. Wild Water and Wheels is a must-do for local and tourist alike. 
alike and continues to lead family entertainment on the Grand Strand. Wild Water and Wheels has over a dozen water attractions as well as go-karts, bumper boats, kiddie rides, and mini golf. So save some money and head to Wild Water and Wheels to cool down. It's all-day water park fun for only $20. Save money today by going to carolinalive.com and clicking on the Carolina Live Deals link. It's that easy. Carolina Live Deals, only on carolinalive.com. Why the why? Here's why. We have Zumba. I'm an instructor even. Get fit while having fun. Come join the party and join the YMCA in Myrtle Beach. It's located off 62nd Avenue North. Call or visit us on the web. And welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. Time now for our first special guest. We are talking to someone who might be able to help you. Yeah, we're talking about a business strategist, Suzanne Evans now, and this is tell it like it is, no fluff. You know, boss of business building, she provides support, consulting, business development skills to over 30,000 women. All right. Enrolled in her wealth and business building programs. Now, she has a natural ability to do anything, entertain, inspire, I mean, in, in inspire. <laughs> no pressure. You can do it all. I mean, so talk a little bit about what you do. Well, we specifically help women business owners and entrepreneurs make more money, get more clients, launch a business, grow a business, and the men who are brave enough to hang out with us. Wow. All right. Now, how often do you hold, con uh, you know, meetings and everything? A lot. We actually just had 25 people from all over the world who were in Merle's Inlet at wow. our offices, um, and that's more of our small meetings. We just had six 650 person conference in Orlando and we are typically um, every month or every six weeks having some sort of an event. All right now it's simple how do they get in touch with you? That's the main thing. How do they get in touch with you? Absolutely they can find us at SuzanneEvans.org is the best way to find us online and we do have a physical office in Merle's Inlet, South Carolina but if you go to SuzanneEvans.org you can find all the information there. All right now what's the Global Impact Project? What is that you're working on? We choose a different charity or mission event every year to focus on. This year has been CAMFED which is an organization based in Zimbabwe that send women and girls through school uh, whether it's primary or secondary school and we'll be taking about 15 other entrepreneurs to partner with business owners in Zimbabwe. We're going at the end of the month. We'll be there for about four or five days, really mentoring uh, artisans and craftspeople and small business owners in Zimbabwe to grow their businesses. Wow, oh, wow that's that sounds exciting. Well, I'll tell you what, nowadays there are more and more entrepreneurs, and what you are doing is great because you're helping them succeed. Absolutely, and we're really in an economic time where entrepreneurship is a necessity. A lot of people uh, were laid off or they had to get out of the field that they were in, and so they were forced into entrepreneurship. So now there's a lot of opportunity to help those entrepreneurs grow, expand, get more clients, make more money. And you're available anytime, right? 24 hours a day. All right, tell them again. Tell them <laughs> again, Suzanne. SuzanneEvans.org. We look forward to hearing from you. You can find us there either through email or a phone call, and one of our team members will take good care of you. Don't leave. I need some help. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Got it. Thanks so much for <laughs> being you. here. Thank you. Stay with us. We'll be right back. A lot more people on the show this morning. Hello, everybody. Cecil Chandler from Myrtle Beach Hyundai, and we're on the road again, finding out what people think about the new Sonata. There's a lot of room in this trunk. I, I'm always looking for a big trunk because I golf. My husband golfs, yeah. and so we put two sets of clubs in there, plus all our luggage and stuff when we go away. This is perfect. It's a nice size. You can't beat the styling. It's beautiful. How about 40 miles to the gallon? Yeah. You can't beat that either. <laughs> it's very nice. And that's what the people think about the new Hyundai Sonata. What do you think about it? At Broadway at the beach, there are more than 100 specialty shops. So just take your pick. What do you think? No? Okay, hold on. Yeah? Wait, I got it. There it is. Find whatever you're looking for at Broadway at the Beach. Ninety percent of Ori Georgetown Technical College graduates earn jobs or transfer to senior colleges. Join the ninety percent with five new certificate programs that you can complete in twelve to eighteen months. Architectural computer aided drafting or surveying. Gerontology for work with the elderly. Earn a certificate to be a medical administrative assistant or online for medical coding and billing. Apply online now for more on these hot new programs. HGTC, Oceans of Possibilities. 
It's their favorite night of the week, chili night. The recipe's a family secret, but Lowe's Foods gives me a reason to make it different. They introduce new valve scores that assign a nutrition rating of 1 to 100 to just about every product on the shelves. Now, a quick glance helps me choose the most nutritious ingredients for my chili. And they can't taste the difference. That's the kind of thing that makes my day. Lowe's Foods, good for you. And welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. You know, a lot of people are taking to the waterways right now. Boating safety, it's a big deal. And our next guest, next guest is going to tell us more about it. That's right. And see, we need to know this stuff. We're going you to the Freedom Boat Club. But uh, talk about, now, obviously life jackets are important, especially for children. I mean, they're mandatory. Um, talk a little bit about what we have here today. All right. Well, talking about life jackets, uh, being safe, um, the biggest fatality we see out on our waters are folks and kids, adults, going overboard and drowning. The number one way you can prevent that is wear the life jacket. A lot of people don't wear them. A lot adults don't have to. Now I wear mine all the time out there. I even have to be told at home to take it off. It's time to take it off because it's comfortable. <laughs> now that will inflate, right? This when will you hit inflate. The water? As soon as you hit the water, it inflates. All so right. if I'm unconscious, it's going to inflate for me. Right, which is a big thing because you think, oh, I'll just grab a life jacket if I yeah. need one. But no. if you fall out of the boat, you hit your head, well, you're not going right. to be able to do that. Yeah. And with kids, it's, it is mandatory if they're under the age of 12 and boats less than 16 feet, they've got to wear them. And it's got to be the proper size. When you put adult size life jackets on kids, they're going to come out of them. So you got to read those labels, make sure it says Coast Guard approved. Uh, this is under 30 pounds. Um, we're seeing a lot of swimsuits. Some are approved, some are not. Like this one is just a swim aid, but this one is actually approved by the Coast Guard as a personal flotation device. Um, we want to recommend that everybody take a free boater safety course that we offer. Our next one is going to be June the 14th, right in Myrtle Beach from 9 to 4. That's right. Okay. And, and I want to point that out. That people are selling things that are not approved. I mean, these, you might look at them, you think they're the same, but this one is they're approved not. and this one isn't. So I read the that's labels. Really that's the important part labels. about it. And when Coast you take to the waterway like this, you need, need to have on that life jacket. Yeah. That's, I, I have some friends that I've been boating with and they don't put on a life jacket. I even, if I have on boots and we're hunting, I even loosen my boots. <laughs> where I can get out of them real quick. Very smart. That Very is. Smart. Wear those life jackets. They save lives. It can make a difference. That's right. right. Now, nowadays they're making them more comfortable too and then even around your waist so you know you don't have to worry about yeah. the tan lines. That's right. Yeah, now. a lot to choose from out right. there. And we're in our 100 uh, deadliest days of summer with the highway patrol. We've got a campaign going on. Got a great video online about boating under the influence uh, as well as driving under the influence. So also we want to ask as a boater that you get a designated driver. Um, don't drive and drink out on our water. Right. All right. Boating safety is really important. Not only yeah. important for me to know, but for you to know. Because if you're out there on the water with me, I want you to be safe. That's too. right. And she's driving a boat now. <laughs> That's right. Okay. All right. Stick Thanks, with Kim. We'll Thank you. Right back. I'm out in the Myrtle Beach area asking people where they go to get their car serviced. Excuse me, sir. When your brakes are squeaking, where do you go? At Airco, we take our trucks to Mason Tire. Excuse me, sir. When you need custom wheels, where do you go? Where else? Mason Tire. As the recession drove our tourism industry in decline, the Tourism Growth Initiative is created. The results for the first two years were astounding. So how is it working lately? 2011 lodging revenues set an all-time record, and 2012 first quarter revenues are up an incredible 12%. Additional jobs were created. The airport sets an all-time record for deployments, and Myrtle Beach residents received an 88% property tax reduction. The Tourism Growth Initiative. Oh, yeah, it's working. We had a light that malfunctioned and uh, caught some paper on fire, and the whole aisle went up in flames. The store was filled with smoke. There was water on the floor about an inch thick from front to back wall to wall. I called a &I, and it was amazing to see what they did. Uh, they had a plan, they worked the plan, we opened up 12 hours later. Just a great turnaround, unbelievable turnaround. There was no doubt I called the right people. When disaster strikes, we're the ones to call. a and does it all. Shopping for a good used car, truck, or SUV? Go to AutoWorldOfConway.com. Browse through over 150 vehicles by make, model, or type. Pick out a car and pre-qualify online. Shop AutoWorldOfConway.com whenever and wherever you want. That's AutoWorldOfConway.com. Good cars for good people. 
Bills adding up? Paychecks stretched to the max? Get instant cash for your unwanted or broken gold or silver today from Bob's Jewel Shop in Laurenburg, North Carolina. The price of gold is reaching record highs and we pay top value. Bob's Jewel Shop will pay you top dollar for your unwanted gold or silver jewelry, scrap gold and gold coins. Why sell through the mail when Bob's will pay you cash on the spot? Get the most from your gold and silver today. Bob's Jewel Shop, treasures for a lifetime in Laurenburg, North Carolina. When you guys get your car serviced, where do you go? Mason Tire! Excuse me, sir, when you need your truck serviced, where do you go? At Lane's, we take our trucks to Mason Tire. Excuse me, ma'am, when you need an oil change, where do you go? Home of the 1795 oil change, Mason Tire. And welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. All right, we were talking about boating. Now we're talking about paddling, the first annual paddle fest. That's right. It's uh, Terra Hall's Home for Boys is holding their first annual Paddle Fest on Saturday, June 16th. The benefit of the Terra Home uh, Boys Home has been there for a long time. Now, this benefit includes a three-hour fun run on Black Mingo Creek. Mm -hmm. Two grand prizes. All this stuff is coming up, and we got two guys with us. Jim and George, talk a little bit about it. Tell me a little bit about it. Well, I can tell you about Terra Hall. We're a right. home and a school for boys who, for lots of different reasons, need a place to live. And uh, we've been located on Black Mingo Creek for the last 42 years, and we're excited. This is the first big fundraiser we've ever had at our property, and I'm going to let George tell you all about the paddle fest. Now, I went down there about 15, 18 years ago, mm -hmm. and it's been there a long time, but it's, it's a great thing y'all do down there. I promise you really do. We try our best. I mean, we're in the middle of nowhere, but it's a great place for, for raising boys in the woods and on the water. All right, George, tell me now about the paddle fest. What is that? Well, Terre Hall is located on the beautiful Mingro Creek, and our right. campus is absolutely beautiful, and I thought of ways to, to get the community involved, and... Uh, Paddling has really taken off in the in the past few years, and uh, we decided to to do this as a fundraiser, and it's about 25 bucks to paddle in. And once you get to Tower Hall, we have a bluegrass band. Some of the best bluegrass music in the area is going to be there, so that'll be a fill-in for them. And we have other things there with for the kids to do. We'll have a dunking booth. We have uh, all kinds of water games. Just a fun day and. A great way to get to know Tara Hall. And it's also the first annual Redneck Barrel Race. <laughs> yes, Tell me yes, about that. We've made some barrels, uh, boats out of barrels, and we're going to have kids <laughs> in these barrels, and we we don't think they'll turn over, but there's a good chance <laughs> they will. So, uh, yeah, we're excited about that, and we're going to present some prizes to the two kids that can do the best. All right, that's yeah. great. And, Jim, you're always, you're always looking for people that can help. We're you know, always looking for assistance because uh, we don't get a lot of federal or state aids. We exist primarily on donations from the general public. And uh, these past few years have been rough, but uh, we're excited about this event. And uh, the more publicity we get out about our facility, the more people get interested. And we're how always long, looking for How long people. have you been involved there? A little over 41 years now, That's almost from the very since they started. We've had almost yeah. 600 kids in that time. That is amazing. Right. I tell you, good luck on the big event. One too. more time, tell everyone where to be and when and how they can get you involved. You need to be at Tara Hall. Tell them how to get there the now. The 16th. It said to take a left at the exit of Highway 41 and 512, just outside of Hemingway. We're That's in the Rose Hill community of Georgetown County. That's it. All right, gentlemen, good luck to you, and we appreciate y'all yeah. coming and out. That's and, and fun. And that's going to be a That'll great be a day. fun event. Thanks for having us. We're delighted to be here. Thanks, fellas. All right, check it out. The paddle, paddling yeah, paddle I'd like, fest. I'd like to see you in one of those barrels. A, ba a barrel? <laughs> yeah, I'd like to I see how that I works. I think I'd probably <laughs> flip it over, but it would be fun. All right, stick with us. We'll be right back. This is a typical day for Carolyn Baker. Then we just have a casual afternoon. Most times you'll catch us in the spring and summer sitting on our porch uh, in our swing. She moved to Methodist Manor two years ago. And we just love it. Methodist Manor is a senior living community in Florence. I was just thinking about our future. We're both getting older, and I just felt like it was a good move before we needed it. Situated on nearly 100 acres of space, Methodist Manor offers independent living, in-home care, assisted living, and health care. There are several floor plans to choose from for patio homes and apartments, and it's all-inclusive. Utilities, housekeeping, laundry, meals, and landscaping don't cost extra. I guess the main thing, I like the freedom. You can do what you want to do, or you can be involved in all the activities, and they have plenty of those. Activities include exercising, dancing, creative arts, and lunch. Not only can you enjoy all of those activities, but you can relax in this beautiful Serenity Garden. And you can grow your own vegetables. That's part of the Memory Care Program for Alzheimer's patients. 
Also on site, a media room, game room, business center, and chapel. Methodist Manor welcomes people of all religions, beliefs, and backgrounds. And every Sunday, you can attend a service in this beautiful chapel. You meet friends for a lifetime at Methodist Manor. Great friends and great neighbors. Some residents just wish they would have moved here earlier. Move in now. Every, what we've observed since we've been here is people wait too long. And they think they're going to get old one day, and they're already old. But they need to get here earlier so they can enjoy the activities, still have the freedom of the community, rather than come in and be restricted right away. Methodist Manor, where friendships and traditional values meet. Located at 2100 Twin Church Road in Florence. Wanted, the outlaw AC unit. Description, old, broken down, costing you money to repair it. What to do if you see this outlaw? Turn it in at carolinaline.com. That's right, ARS Rescue Rooter and News Channel 15 want to find the oldest AC unit along the Grand Strand and replace it for free. You can be cooling off this summer with a new air conditioned unit from ARS Rescue Rooter. To enter, log on to carolinaline.com and click on the contest corner link. The grand prize winner will be announced June 29th during Carolina and Company Live at Noon. Welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. That's what we're talking about, a charity golf for the Hope House of Myrtle Beach. That is going on June 30th at the Man of War Golf Course. And hey, June 28th at 6 p.m., auction night at the Pelican Stadium. So that'll be fun. That'll be fun. benefits the Hope House. Let me, let me show you what something I got. There? Kent gave me this. He's out at the uh, flea market in Surfside, and he runs a, he can do all kind of artwork on shirts and all, but he gave me this. I'm going to show you something. Now watch the wheel. Watch it. It's going to the right now. See it? See, it's going to the right. All right, now we're going to stop it. Now I'm going to make it go to the left. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I, I can do it. Check on there, backwards. There it is. There it is. I'll make it go to the left now. Wow. See? That's pretty cool. How, exactly How in the world do you work? do that? I have no idea. It's nothing but a piece of wood. Is that, is that you know. for anything in particular? Like if you're out rowing, paddling, you can stick nah, it in the water? Like I think it's just like for dummies motor. like me to play with just and try to figure out how busy. it works. Yeah. Well, thank you, Kent, for keeping Cecil busy and out of my hair. All right. Thanks, Kent. I appreciate that, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We got a big event we got to talk about coming up now, June 8th. It's the uh, annual pancake supper of the Surfside Police Department's hosting, and it's going to be at my favorite place to eat, of course, at the Golden, the golden Egg golden down egg. in Surfside Beach. Now, it's going to be from 4 until 8 o'clock. All right. Come out and support this event because... Uh, it's, it's for, Car uh, for Sp South Carolina Special Olympics, and it's a lot of fun, and there'll be all the policemen will be waiting on you. This is the time you need to come out because the Surfside Police Department, they'll be waiting on you. <laughs> I'll be there, too, so you, right. you come out. We'll have a lot of That's fun. That's a great deal, seven bucks. You get yeah. pancakes, bacon, sausage, tea, whatever tea, you want coffee. Yeah. For seven bucks. And if you need a few more pancakes, I'll be there. Just ask me, and I'll get you some. Are you going to share yours? Yeah, I'll sh no, no, I'll no. get them some. I'm not sharing mine. <laughs> That's the Golden Egg right there in Surfside on uh, Business 17. That's right. And yeah. also going on at the Myrtle Beach Speedway on June 9th is the Walk the Dog Night. This is really cool what they're doing. If you sponsor a dog, then you get into the race for free. If you adopt a pet, then your whole family gets in for free. You can right. bring your own dog. They're going to walk them around the track. Really a great event going on. So that's yeah. all at the Myrtle Beach Speedway, June 9th. That's a lot of fun. Now the Food Lion Thriller on the Griller. Now this is a fundraiser with the Children's Miracle Network. And uh, let's see, this is set for, um, I don't know when. When did I do this? How did I do that? June 20th? Uh, I can't 14th, remember. 14th, 15th, and 20th? Perhaps? Yeah, that's what it is, yeah. 14th, 15th, and 20th at the Food Lions in the <laughs> area. And they're going to be raising money. Uh, this event raised over $90,000 for three children's hospitals in South and North Carolina. They're doing it all over South Carolina. So check it out. Thriller on the Griller. All right. I think all we right. have a special picture of the day to take a look yes, at Yes, we today. do. Let's check it out. There he is. That's my grandson. That's him, old Tucker Wayne Chandler. He is three years old today. Happy and there's birthday. there's me with my little granddaughter Vera Grace. She's got a birthday coming up next month. And uh, happy birthday, Tucker. All right. Three years old. Three huh? years old. I sent him a thousand dollars. 
Wow. I wish I could. <laughs> <laughs> all right, don't forget, Friday night, Wild Water and Wheels will be there, and we will be here all week to bring you fun, entertaining news. We'll see you tomorrow right back here at noon. For a good used car, truck, or SUV, go to AutoWorldOfConway.com. Browse through over 150 vehicles by make, model, or type. Pick out a car and pre-qualify online. Shop AutoWorldOfConway.com whenever and wherever you want. That's AutoWorldOfConway.com. Good cars for good people.